Paolo Taviani was in New York for the Tribeca Film Festival premiere of Wondrous Boccaccio, his latest with his brother and co-director Vittorio. The film is loosely based on the Decameron, a collection of tales by 14th century writer Giovanni Boccaccio set during the Black Plague. It opens with scenes of death from the epidemic. Sono le donne, sette ragazze. It is seven young women who decide that enough is enough, they don't want to spend any more time in Florence counting how many people have died that day. So they decide to go outside of the city into the open air to a villa in the midst of the countryside. And it is the women who decide to tell the stories, that they will find an instrument of survival through art. The young people, there are also three men, pass the time recounting stories, most of them about love, often bawdy, sometimes tragic, to escape the nearness of death. Taviani says he and his brother saw a parallel with events today. In questi ultimi anni, Look at the phenomenon of ISIS, the horrors that are taking place in Africa. And Vittorio and I sort of looked at each other one day and said, it's like the plague, we feel like we are surrounded by a plague. Filmmakers for more than 50 years, the Taviani brothers have won top awards at the Cannes Film Festival for Padre Padrone in 1977 and Night of the Shooting Stars in 1982. And their 2012 drama, Caesar Must Die, set in a prison where inmates are rehearsing Shakespeare's Julius Caesar, took the top prize at the Berlin Film Festival. Some people have asked us why, after making Caesar Must Die, we made this wondrous Boccaccio, which seems to be so very far apart. For us, instead, they're very close, because they're born of the same sentiment. In prison, these men, these prisoners, are filled with suffering and with pain. The prisoners are then able to escape momentarily through art, through Shakespeare. Early reviews of Wondrous Boccaccio have mostly panned it, calling it bland and too clean-looking. Paolo Taviani, though, said that through the lens of Wondrous Boccaccio, he and his brother saw their native Tuscany again as if for the first time. He said he likes to think that Boccaccio, if he could see the film, would approve. Carolyn Weaver, VOA News, New York. C'era un monastero famoso di santità.